Hey everyone, it's Chronic Blaze here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we will be unboxing the Logitech G502. So you may be wondering why I'm doing this. I already have three gaming mics. So the one that's not here, the Logitech G700S. So I use that with my laptop and it double clicks. Not the greatest for gaming. I actually hate gaming on it. But for web browsing, it's great. And it's nice that it's wireless. So what about the $10 gaming mouse? And do I have a need to explain why I don't use this thing? I use it on like a secondary machine just as an extra mouse. But you might be wondering, why am I not using the Razer Lancehead Tournament Edition anymore? because I was very happy with this mouse. I kind of still am, but there's a very common issue with this mouse where when you scroll, what happens is it'll scroll the wrong way. You'll lose lines. You can't do anything very precise because half the time the scroll wheel doesn't work and it's also double clicking. I'm a little bit upset. I really like this mouse. I really wish it would have been working longer, but I decided to pick up the Logitech G502 instead. Okay, it's open. It involved ripping the box, but uh, it's open. I think I've learned from the headset unboxing. It better open this way. Oh, it does. Thank God. All right, first things first. This cable is nicer. That's one point for the lance head. It does look pretty similar. I didn't test the exact one in the store. Oh, that's so good. It's actually a little bit smaller than the one in the store, which I really like that. The cable is... Eh, the cable's all right. I mean, it's just a cable at the end of the day. It's a little small. I feel like I'm cramping my hand, but I think I could get used to this. The buttons feel really nice. I love that. That's one thing I love about the G700S is the scroll wheel. I think also because I'm straining my hand. If I pull back here for a minute. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, over the lance head, much nicer or click i don't know if there's any weights in it right now but it actually does feel like it has superb weight definitely the weights are probably in here oh it just pries off from the side okay so how is it with all the weights in let's see here it's actually really cool that they give you this level of customization i really like that actually if you want to make the mouse heavier which i probably won't okay one of them already fell out that's fine i don't really like where the right click is i'd say the other mouse feels more comfortable i think i'll get used to it it should be okay all in all i'm pretty happy with it as long as it works i like how responsive the scroll wheel is it feels like the G700S, which I definitely like that. I just got to tune the DPI a little bit. Yeah, I say let's give this some tests. I'll install the software. We'll see how that goes from there. All right, so Fortnite has to update, and I'm not waiting for 15,000 years for Fortnite to update. So we are going to the next best thing, Roblox Arsenal. You know, it'd be helpful if I could see my gun. All right, we're already popping off, guys. We're popping off. That's a good sign. All right, that's a good sign. Anytime I die, I can blame the mouse now. But this mouse is pretty solid, I'm not going to lie. Feels pretty great. Got third party. God damn it. All right, we got five kills, guys. Come on, we can do this. Yeah, but overall, I think that in some ways I prefer the lance head, but in some ways I prefer this mouse as well. I think this mouse is more comfortable for the left click, and I'm finding I'm just using my middle finger for right click, so that's probably fine. Now, I do think that the lance head has the buttons placed a little bit more appropriately, some of the secondary buttons. I think the lance head has them placed a lot nicer, in my opinion, but that's just my opinion. I know there's a lot of people who legitimately do very much prefer this mouse and you know what i think it's pretty good i definitely would recommend it the only thing that has me a little bit worried is i know that there are some durability issues with it given that a lot of gd players in the community we know have double click issues with this mouse that's probably the only thing i would say as of now it seems to be working great that's always what you want to see that's always what you want to see there we go let's see if we can win this game now if i don't win the video is going to end here this game's garbage, bro. This game sucks. I'm just getting absolutely target killed. And I somehow managed to mute myself for the rest of the video. So overall, I think the mouse is pretty good. Using it to edit this entire video, it made me feel like my hand was a little bit strained, but I think it's just something I have to get used to. Overall, I definitely recommend it. All of the buttons are nicer than the Lance Head, but as I said, some of the button placement, I think the Lance Head is a little bit better. I think the G502, first of all, is easier to find and is actually cheaper than the Lance Head. If you look at it in that way, this is the better mouse to get. But that's gonna wrap this video. So you all did enjoy, please leave a like, subscribe, and turn notifications so you never miss one of my videos. That's gonna wrap this video. So Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.